Once you establish a government program that gives something to somebody, how do you rein it in? How do you take it back? How do you cut it? How do you limit the giveaway from the government? Answer, well, you really can't. It is politically almost impossible to take back what a politician and the government have given. And that's the situation that occurred in Europe, and it's the situation that's coming up in America. Europe just voted against taking back any kind of government program. In France, they want to reduce the pension age, the retirement age, from 62 down to 60. <laughs> Sarkozy had made it 62. Whoa, you can't do that? That's a hit to old people. Oh no, we've got to bring it back down to 60. In Europe, they voted against taking anything back. Once you've got a government program, always got that government program. Now, isn't it exactly the same thing here? Isn't that precisely the same choice that we're facing in November in the United States? Look at all these programs that President Obama has expanded and introduced as giveaways to buy votes. How are we ever going to rein in food stamps? How are we ever going to rein in the earned income tax credit, which is a check, cash, in the mail every January to 28 million people? How on earth do you ever rein that one in? You try to rein it in, they won't vote for you. You lose votes. Therefore, you must have this program in perpetuity. We have a huge election decision to make this November. Are we Americans, what we have always been, individuals seeking competitive liberty? Are we? Or are we European collectivists? The choice comes up in November. And that's what we'll be talking about on Varney and Company day after day after day, because that's the fundamental issue at stake in America today. I hope you can join us in three hours. Can you get more of this?